Hey guys, so in today's video we're going to be working on the Ender 3 V2 and the one of the recent upgrades that I made to this was the Micro Swiss Dual Gear Extruder and one of the things that it lacked over the factory extruder is some place to attach the uh, wire harness. So this thing has just been dangling here. Uh, I, it is grabbed onto the Bowden tube at this point and I had a wire tie on this back arm but I want to make a part that uh, holds it a little bit better and looks a little neater. So I think uh, today we're going to take that opportunity. And uh, I'm going to show you a cool feature uh, that you can implement in design with Onshape. And that starts by taking a picture of the part that you're trying to create a part around. So in this case, it's the dual gear extruder. So we're going to start by taking an overhead picture. So orient your camera like this. Snap a picture. And then we're going to import this picture into GIMP and, uh, and make sure that it's square. Uh, once we've done that, we're going to import it into Onshape. And then I'm going to show you guys how you can build a part to scale around an image that you took. So let's get started. Guys, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Turn on your notification bell and leave some comments. I love reading the comments and do my best to get back to you guys as soon as possible. All right. So let's get started in Onshape. First thing we need to do is to open the image in GIMP. And the purpose for this step is just to square the image. Uh, so what you're going to do is just select it, crop it, and then we're going to use the perspective tool and just slightly tweak it to make sure that it's square in the frame. Next up is just exporting it to a JPEG file, put it someplace where you'll remember. And then uh, let's open up a new document in Onshape. I've changed the uh, measurement units to millimeters and here we're importing the picture that we just edited in GIMP. Adjust it, put it uh, as close to the center as possible and then you're gonna have to designate one uh, size on the picture and that will scale the entire image. All I did to get this is simply take a measurement of that section there and uh, apply it to the measurement in on shape. Alright so I'm gonna breeze through this pretty fast
And it's a little ugly. I still got to do some tweaking, but this, this is going to be cleaned up pretty easy. All right, so let's uh, clean this thing up, and then we'll try it out. All right, guys, so here's how the part turned out. And it cleaned up pretty good. All right, so next, let's install it. Installing it is super easy. All we're going to do is start with the wire. I'm just going to grab the edge of the wire, squeeze it down, and work it into the sleeve. Once it's on there, just slide it over. Put it around the arm and just push it down, push it down into place. And that's it. So there you go. So now we got a nice, cool looking little mount. I'll show you guys. There you go. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.